Hi, and welcome to Cryptobiography. I'm your host, Brandon Starr. This is episode 202 of Cryptobiography, and it is going to be the entirety of the story, Connections. So I, I struggled to write this week. I really did. And I spent a lot of time getting very little done. And I just, like, I started several things and nothing felt right. It's unfortunate because I really... I had really high hopes for one story that I had started, and then last night I was just not able to continue it. It was an ordeal. Anyway, so normally what I'm going to be doing when I when I do these compilations, it's going to be for the purposes of like me being able to just take the day completely off, like if I'm you know visiting someone or whatever. Uh, but in this case, I had to do it, unfortunately, simply because I was not able to write something new for this week, uh, which I feel very badly about. But I did have some fun actually going back, uh, when I, when I was, you know, putting together the different episodes, because there's 11 different episodes. Uh, it makes it, you know, one of the longer stories that we've done. And Connections, of course, is also in terms of the other stories, kind of important because it is the start of the Connections continuity and is the story that it's named after, of course. And it is the first story that is set in this world of sort of... sort of partly superhero... partly sort of Twilight Zone. Uh, It's, you know, it's modern setting. It's a little fantastical. People are getting super abilities, but... A lot of times it messes them up more than it helps them or it causes issues or causes problems. There's very few like genuine superhero-ness going on in uh, most of the connection stories. Um, It's more about like what would life be like if X, Y, or Z superpower happened to you. And and I do, and I do feel that in, unlike in the comic books, like happened to you is going to be like the way most superhero, super abilities would occur like they sound amazing you know uh, but if you look at like what would actually happen if you had any of these superpowers you know there would be in most cases m- as many drawbacks as benefits um, so so a lot of my connections uh, continuity stories sort of end up having sort of one toe in like horror or one toe in existential horror or one toe in sort of twilight zone that sort of thing Uh, or even just existentialism in general where the idea is like you know the ability these weird things that are happening to them are sort of breaking down their sense of self or their existence or whatever uh, not always, and some of them are more happy. Some of them, you know, they actually get to use their abilities, and and it's very exciting for them. <laughs> but anyway, this was the first story, and it was like I say, it's one of the longer stories uh, that I've done in general, and also within the Connections continuity itself. Interestingly, when I went back to it, it's like, oh yeah, this one actually got broken up by other stories. There's there's like three other stories that I wrote while writing this one, and the big one was Annie and the Magician which is like another, this is an 11-parter, and Annie and the Magician is an 11-parter. And so I I got like half of them done, and then I wrote a couple little stories, and then I started Annie, which I didn't think was going to be that long. I think that was partly why I wrote it at that point, was because I was wanting to get back to connections, but I had this one idea, and I didn't really think it would take that long, and it ended up being an (laughs) 11-parter. So yeah, so that was fun. Uh, and Annie, I think, is next in line for when I do have to put together a compilation story. Uh, this one is the first really long one. The other one was, you know, just a two-parter. So this 11-parter is well over an hour long, which is really cool because it actually feels really... I mean, I'm, I'm aware that I am sort of going for like 8 to 12 minutes in that sort of range for most episodes. Sometimes I'm a little shorter than that. Occasionally I'm longer. But those that's pretty much the normal range. But because of that, it doesn't feel like I'm getting... It sometimes feels like I'm not really writing that much or I'm not getting that much done. So it's nice to know that like this is only one of many stories I've done since cryptobiography went to fiction. And it's an 11-parter, one of the longer ones, but not the longest. Uh, and also like there's, there's several like in this, in this range 
And, you know, it's, it's like pushing, it's kind of pushing two hours, uh, which is cool. It feels more real, more meaty, like I'm really getting something done, which is nice because I, I need that right now because, like I said, I've, have, I've had real trouble. I've started several stories over the last two weeks now, and in every case so far, I'll get a little bit going and there'll be like some interesting character or something, but not much is happening or something's happening, but I don't like the characters. It's kind of like I haven't been able to mesh sort of a nice story with like something someone I want to actually talk about so it was good to come back to this one and I, I really like the characters like I really miss uh, the Rorks you know um, and I liked some of the scenes that that happen in this in this extended story and I'm quite proud of it and I hope you like it um, I don't know how many people will be like re hearing this all together right now versus like how many were actually listening back when it was you know being written episodically but I do hope you enjoy it and uh, and I definitely enjoyed going through this and now bringing it to you as one piece and I think it is gonna help give me a little bit of impetus to know that like you know, it's okay, like, just, just keep writing, and eventually, you know, uh, all you have to do is keep going, and it ends up being a bit of a project, you, like, you'll get a, a fair bit done. I mean, if you look at, like, a typical audiobook, they tend to be, I mean, it varies quite a bit, obviously, but, you know, a minimum of, like, a, a pretty shortish one is, like, you know, five, four or five hours, something like that. A lot of them are uh, you know, eight to nine hours is pretty good. There are a few longer ones that are in like the 15 to 20 and even higher, of course, range. Um, but you know, like if you've got like 15 hours, that's like a novel, that's novel length. And here we have, you know, 11 episodes and it's all, you know, it's pushing two hours. So, you know, if you wanted to two multiply that, you know, if you, if you're calling it two hours of rounding up to two hours, 11 episodes and then like if we wanted like a 20 hour novel you know that's 10 times that well that's 110 episodes and I've done more than that so I've written you know it's all short stories but I've written more than a novel's worth of writing in the last you know whatever it is now a couple years now which is pretty cool uh, and I'm really it, it really helps me to to feel like okay let's just let's keep keep going just find something to write you know keep working on the stories and it will end it will happen you know you will end up with a large amount of stuff written it just take it's more about consistency than it is about like you know having the perfect idea and i think that's i hope i'm not falling into that trap of like just you know throwing everything away just because it's not perfect you know that over the last couple of weeks I'm hoping that's not it, but if it is, then this helps me remind me that it's not all about having the perfect story to tell necessarily. It's just, you know, focus on writing something interesting and then polishing it and then putting it out and just getting it out there because if you get it out there, it's written. And if you just, if you just sit on everything because you don't think it's perfect, you end up not getting anything out, out at all. So anyway. I hope you enjoy this, and here we go. All right, and one more additional part. This is an, this part is going to be edited out of the audio podcast, but this is for the visual. Uh, just like last time, I don't have a way to uh, to stitch all of the videos together properly to to make one video to upload. So I'm afraid you're going to have to go back to episodes. Oh, let's see which episodes they are. All right, I go back to here. So it's episodes, starts at episode 68, uh, 69, 70, 71. Then it skips to 73 because 72 was a different episode. Uh, and after that, there's a long skip and then it's 86 through 91. And just once all in a row, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. So you can either, they are available on YouTube or you can go back and listen to the podcast either by doing those episodes or would it be easier if you were if you are going to do the audio version 
it'll be easier obviously to put the get stitched to go out, stitched together one and just use that one so this is episode 202 and thanks for listening